Hello there, welcome back and thank you for joining me. So you may see this video on Facebook or YouTube, okay? Anyway you see, it, thank you for watching it and don't forget to like, don't forget to comment. This is my life behind the scene as a full-time mom and full-time employee of social media. I feel like sharing with you my life behind the scenes from time to time. I know you know me a lot, but yeah, just what I do aside from always creating videos that makes it look like it's so easy so recently i added facebook and um i have my posting hours for facebook and i also have my posting hour for youtube i don't do the same type of content on facebook i do something separate though yeah similar but not the same but this particular video you're watching now i'm going to send it to both uh platforms so stick around with me trust me working from home can can be fun but sometimes you're lonely doing it but not a problem so let's go to the kitchen while the video of the one on youtube is still uploading let's go to the kitchen and prepare these fishes that i've got last week somewhere i, I did this video i'm going to link it in the description of this one so you see where i got these fishes from because i'm not familiar with them i'm going to have them hair fry so that i can use them because these fishes are strange to me yeah no i got them from the ocean right but they don't look like something i know fishes that i know so i don't want to just cook them raw i'm just gonna like have them fry using this lifesaver of hair fryer and while that is ongoing i'll go back to my studio which is my room to continue editing but for sure i need a cup of coffee trust me i started doing this like i see that it helps a lot this is one practical thing that have one of those practical things that have you know taken and instantly gives you the results coffee please get yourself a coffee if you are a social media creative you need it from time to time um, because I have my comment section to reply to, I'm always on my phone. So if you see me, I'm pressing my phone. Sometimes it's not just for the fun of it, but for the work of it, which is all fun. So I have tons of videos to edit. Right now, what I'm doing is setting up my video for YouTube for Premiere. You know, I have to get this done. Then I'll know that, okay, I'm free for the day because I usually upload my YouTube videos ahead of time and have them scheduled for premiere or have them scheduled to be uploaded later. So once that is done, I know I'm free for the day to do other things. So come with me to cleaning. Today is just one of those special few days. I don't do this all the time, okay? My life is not this wonderful every day. But today, I feel like, yeah, doing something wonderful so i want to clean i want to cook i cook i do all the cookings but i have a certain day that i've set aside for cooking but today cooking is because i'm expecting someone very special and i have to cook i have to clean i have to do everything clean my kitchen i just want to look like you know i have it all going <laughs> even though i don't do the cooking proper by this time i already guess you know what i'm about to prepare i want to make a light soup and 
I can't wait to do this with using these fishes that I got and also using goat meat. And I think I have learned this over the time and I get better with time as I do it. This is not just for anyone, but for me too, because I love it so much and I like to prepare it all the time. And I've seen a lot of Nigerians, a lot of my, my Nigerian friends that are very, in fact, they're falling in love with this um, Ghanaian soup or stew. Okay, soup, right? And they do prepare it from time to time so i do that too so let us go you know everything that it requires to do it so this is not a cooking tutorial okay but um i remember there was a time someone i know called me all the way from lagos and said oh what about that light soup how and how do i need to how do i prepare it so but good thing is i sent her a video from um sweet ajeli and she got the result she was happy so if you want to learn how to cook this search for videos on the internet and thank me later but at the end of the day this is the finish the outcome of my cooking that i did i just had to quickly have this with whatever and jump back to bed to continue because i have got lots of editing to do working from home is fun because of the calm and you don't have to quickly take your bath to rush you know that rush hour you don't have to get stuck in traffic physically but it can be really crazy sometimes but i love it anyways i can i can't complain so editing still going on this video will be dropping maybe tomorrow already i have the interview dropped but the one me and bife were talking about our struggle living in ghana as foreigners and all that will be ready by tomorrow so that's it for today so i hope that you did enjoy watching this video life of a mom and a content creator is not if it's not easy but it's fun i can't ask for i can't ask for what do i say i'm grateful for everything you know the ability to do things from home right uh, this is when you do content creation, like when you're a content creator, you don't have to rush yourself. Okay. A lot of people are going to give you the opinion because they don't know what it is behind the scene, but you know what is good for you, especially those of you that are looking to start Facebook. I want to encourage you today to start. Okay. Start you to start Facebook, start anything, just start. You don't know where this is going to lead you tomorrow and everyone will be proud of you for a start. You don't get the support. You get the support from where you least expect. But later, everyone will come around. All right. I hope that you did enjoy this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.